Good morning guys, bright and early, and we're heading to Gaul on the south coast, which is a city that's got an old Dutch fort. So we're going to make a day trip from Colombo to check that out. But first of all, we just arrived at the Maradona train station, and uh, it's really quite beautiful. Good morning. Hi, uh, can I have a ticket to Gaul? Yes. For uh, 605? Yes. And this is third class only or second class? Second and third available. I'll do two, two, second class, please. Thank you. Four hundred eighty rupees. Four eighty. That's one way. Okay. Yes. There we go. And uh, which platform is it? Number five. Number five. Thank you, sir. Okay. So I've decided to do second class. Um, there's only third class and second class available on this train. Um, this is my first time riding a train in Sri Lanka. We'll see what it looks like. Maybe I'll give third class a, a try on the way, on the way home. Um, it's a Saturday morning, very early, 6.05 a.m. So I don't think it's going to be too busy. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it. This is, oh my god, this is beautiful. <laughs> And I believe this is second class, so let's, let's take a look. Morning. Does the, tra does the train go this way? Okay, thank you. to Gaul. Let's check it out. So just off the train, arrived in Gaul after about a, a two-hour train journey. Um, really quite comfortable, beautiful scenery as you saw, uh, and the price of that two-hour train journey was um, about 220 rupees, which is one Canadian dollar, about 75 cents. So pretty crazy, can't get better than that. And uh, we are now in Gaul and we're going to go check out the old fort. All right, so I'm at the entrance to the Gaul fort. Behind me, you can see the, uh, the clock tower and these massive walls, which are probably 50 feet high. So the Gaul fort was originally built by the Portuguese in the early 1500s in the city of Gaul, which is at the southern, south, uh, western tip of Sri Lanka. It's at uh, an important trading route between uh, India and Asia and Europe. And so when the Portuguese arrived in the early 1500s, they built this fort here. Um, and then when the Dutch took over in the 1600s, they highly fortified it um, with these massive rock walls um, and 
other, uh, other infrastructure to make it a more secure and stable fort. Let's take a look at this little impromptu cricket match that's happening here. I'm wearing, I'm wearing my... <laughs> I think I'm being invited to play, but uh, that would be bad news for everyone involved. I am wearing my Sri Lanka cricket shirt though, so perhaps that's, uh, that's why I've been invited. Oh. So I'm just making my way along the outer edge of the old city, sort of walking on top of the, the walls, the fort, main fortifications, and going to each of the, uh, the corner of the walls, which are the bastions, the main bastions. So it's just along the sea too. So you can see how um, you know, the fort would have been excellent for getting a sense of what possible invaders were on the horizon. And they have cannons set up all along the edge here, the walls, at the walls, uh, pointed both at the sea and towards the city. So uh, the fort was extremely well protected. So it's really not hard to see why this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is the old shipping building? Yes. Okay. Take the pictures. Oh. So Gaul being uh, at its geographic position in the southeastern coast, southwestern coast of Sri Lanka, uh, obviously was an important uh, port and shipping hub. And uh, this gentleman is going to show me around. Thank you. This is your this is your office? Yes, not not in the shipping office. Shipping office. Okay. You video? Yeah, video. Is that okay? Beautiful. How old is the building? Uh, 365. 365? Five. Wow. 365 years old. So it's not used right now? Uh, yeah, not uh, now become a hotel. Hotel, okay. Wow, beautiful. So the, the first before this is shipping department. Shipping department, okay. After made cloth tech made it. Clothes, okay. Now become a hotel. Hotel, okay. Now it's a hotel. Or is it becoming a hotel? Now become a hotel. Become hotel, yeah. It doesn't look like it's a hotel yet, but oh very cool. That is the sea area. Yeah, oh beautiful. And this one hotel. Oh, oh, that's a hotel now, okay. All right, yeah, that looks like more of a hotel. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. 
behind the scenes access here. Wow. Very cool. Three, 365 years old. Okay. It's here repair. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, it looks like it's got a fresh coat of paint on it. Ah, okay. The Before roof is repaired. I see. So, who built this building? Was it the Dutch? Yeah, Dutch. Dutch, okay. And that is the corner of finishing gate. The which gate? The corner, corner, the next is street. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> This one is commercial bank. Commercial bank, right, okay. And that is the church. The Anglican church, right? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. And there are a lot of hotels there. Hotels? Yeah, a lot yeah. of hotels. Nice. The, the factory? Yeah. Okay, factory, line number one factory. Interesting. Sir, here going to the tower, sir. Ah, okay. Uh, but it's not safety, sir. Yeah, I see. <laughs> the stairs are no good, eh? Yeah. We can go to this way. Okay. And sir, this is the house, old timber. The old timber, okay. Yes, wow. We can use uh, also very strong. Yeah? This. So you can still use it? Yeah. Okay. So this is from the original commercial yeah, so building? Yeah, okay. Wow. 365 year old timber. So that is the tower. And there's the, the uh, lighthouse tower. Yeah. Or the watch tower that would see the ships from the sea, right? Yes, of yeah. course. So there's a tunnel here. What, what, was, what was the tunnel for? It's a tunnel for the, to the sea, sir. Oh, to the sea. Oh, wow. That's, uh, in the ship. In the sea, sir. People before uh, 365 go this place to the sea. Things bring away the things this way. Oh, they would bring things from the sea. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. So that was a super cool tour of that old shipping building, 365 year old. Um, Dutch building by my friend Janneke, the security guard, um, really friendly guy, just a delightful fellow, uh, tossed him a thousand rupees for that, uh, that tour, which is about four bucks, probably should have given him more, but he was really happy with that, um, super cool, yeah, what a nice little, nice little surprise. Okay, so I haven't had my lunch yet, but... I'm thinking that an ice cream is in order on this scorching hot day. Hi, so you have um, none of these? No, this shell, this shell, this shell. Okay. Um, maybe you'll have this shell, this shell. This, this one? This one. This one, yes, please. Thank you. Strawberry? Strawberry? This part here has 70. Oops. There we one. Go. This one, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet. What can you say? Sri Lanka, I love you. Wow. Now we're making our way down to a beach. Got some stalls selling fun stuff. 
just in case you forgot your water guns. Back at the Gaul Rail Railway Station, I just bought my ticket, and the, uh, the ticket attendant told me, warned me that it was very busy. So uh, let's take a look. <laughs> no. It's gonna be very busy. Yeah, of busy. Course. square foot of space. Yeah, I feel like it's very strange that I enjoyed that trip a little bit. The back is killing me and I'm so hot, but you know, it was fun and uh, I must be, must be doing something right if, uh, if that train ride can't drive me crazy. Um, but it could also just be the country. You know? it's, it's, it's a fantastic place to travel in even when you're on a crowded train. So. 